Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It's Throwback Thursday time, and today we're going to talk about a play called The Night Thoreau Spent in Jail. It's by Jerome Lawrence and Robert E. Lee, but not that Robert E. Lee, a different Robert E. Lee. Can you imagine your last name being Lee? How many other writers there are out there who have your same name? First name Robert, last name Lee. It's got to be tough to distinguish who you are. If you have trouble remembering how to spell Thoreau, my tip is to remember that Thor is at the beginning of Thoreau, T-H-O-R, and then E-A-U, that wonderful French O. Thoreau. The Night Thoreau Spent in Jail is a play that I absolutely love. I gave it four out of five stars. Over the years as a teacher, I've had students work with this play a few times. It's about American transcendentalism, but more than that, it's about the life of Henry David Thoreau. The play is from 1971. Back a long time ago, Henry David Thoreau had a lot of issues with government. He was a very rebellious, sarcastic sort of man. He enjoyed making fun of the absurdities, the paradoxes, the strange things in the world. The play explores his relationship with his brother and also his relationship with Ralph Waldo Emerson. The idea from the title, The Night Thoreau Spent in Jail, comes from the fact that Henry David Thoreau refused to pay his taxes when America was in the Mexican War. He felt that by not paying his taxes, he was providing a form of protest because he did not approve of what the government was taking the money for and using it for. So in the play, he's put in jail, but that provides an opportunity for a bunch of flashbacks that explore his life and his philosophy and the transcendentalism movement. I think it's a lot of fun. The dialogue is really witty. There's a lot going on on multiple levels, you know, of what's being said. A lot of what happens with the back and forth of characters involves a lot of jokes, a lot of puns, the way that they play off of each other. So if nothing else, I would recommend it for the intellectual humor. But there is a chance that by reading or watching this play that you could come to a greater understanding of transcendentalism and the ideas behind it. I know many people are constantly still trying to better understand transcendentalism because there's so much involved with it. And I've had students tell me that the play does really help with that. It helps put those ideas in context, such as refusing to pay your taxes or the sort of things that you would say to your family members or how you end up living in the woods by yourself doing strange experiments. I think it's a wonderful play. I highly recommend it. If you want to, you can look online. There are websites like YouTube that feature at least scenes or most of the play put out. And preparing for this video, because it's been several years since I've experienced the play, I watched an online version where a parish group had just cut out a couple of the scenes, but it had, I would say, 90% of the play, if not more. And it was very funny to watch them deliver the lines and put the play together on their one little stage that they had. It's possible that you could find it online and watch it, because ultimately, as I like to say, plays are meant to be seen, they are meant to be given as a performance, and so sometimes you'll get a lot more out of it watching it perform than just reading it on the page with the dialogue tags. But alright, I think that's enough for today. Every day is a great day for a book talk. Peace.